Hi everyone, welcome back to the workshop. A few months ago, we released a video about the 25 things that buzz on a violin. Um, as we did that video and covered all of those topics, uh, it came up that there are some unique things that buzz on cellos and basses. So today, we are gonna be covering all of those buzz causes that are specific to cellos and basses. If you wanna see some of those other things that buzz, uh, check out our video on our channel. I'm not gonna cover those twice today, uh, so yeah, let's get started. Starting off with the double bass, let's go ahead and take a look at the scroll. Now, as you'll notice, the bass has some big metal tuning plates on it that aren't present on the other instruments. This is mostly because the tension on bass strings is way higher than the other instruments. And with all of this metal up here, there is a lot that can buzz. If you're getting that sort of metal metallic ringing buzz sound and it sounds like it's coming from up here in the bass, you can check a few different things. First, you'll wanna make sure that all of these screws that attach the plate of the bass or the tuner to the scroll are well affixed and not loose. Second thing you wanna check is that the little paddles here at the end of the tuning gears don't have any wiggle in them. Occasionally, this pinched part of metal up here can become a little bit loose, causing these tuners to rattle in place. It can give a very, um, a very distinct buzzing sound. Next thing you can check for buzzes up here for the bass is if you're getting a very uh, rattle-like sound quality in that buzz, you can make sure that the tuner is actually nice and firm in the tracks here. As you move back and forth with your tuning gear, there's some play between this screw and this gear. If that gets to a point where it's very loose, you'll get a very low pitched rattling sound. You can just tune the bass down a little bit and then slowly bring it up to pitch to make sure that the screw of your tuner is under tension. As we move on down the instrument, looking for things that are different, I will make one note here that cellos and basses, due to the fact that the strings vibrate in a wider oscillation pattern, are more prone to buzzing on the fingerboard. So in our previous video from those fingerboard buzzes, we identified there are much more likely culprit on cellos and basses than they are on violins and violas. But as we move down the cello and past the bridge, we're gonna find this little gold piece down here called a wolf eliminator. Now, while it's true that violins and violas also can have wolf eliminators, primarily they're present on cellos and basses. Now, with the way that the wolf eliminator functions, while it performs an important function, it can also be prone to buzzing due to the amount of metal pieces used to assemble it. Looking down here, this style of wolf eliminator is called a button wolf eliminator, and the way you would fix this if it buzzes would be you'd unscrew it, and then insert some sort of foam sheeting on the inside and then screw it back together to act as a barrier between the wolf eliminator itself and the metal on the string. Now, if you're trying to identify that buzz and figure out if that's what the issue is, what you can do is you can put your finger on the wolf eliminator while you play a pitch and see if that buzz stops. They're pretty easy to identify. And finally, as we go down toward the bottom of the cello or the bass, we get one very unique piece to these two instruments and that is the end pin. With the end pin, there are many things that can buzz. On some bases, this rubber tip is actually threaded on, and that, if it's not screwed all the way down tight, can buzz. This metal collar right here on some instruments is actually just screwed on, and that can also buzz. So you'll want to make sure that that's securely tightened, make sure your end pin tip is securely tightened. In addition, if the end pin is not tightened tightly enough, the entire rod can buzz inside of this end pin collar here. So make sure that your end pin stop here is fully tightened. And then finally, on some instruments, what you will see is a metal collar surrounding this end pin. That can become loose over time and that can also buzz. Now, as far as fixing those issues go, this little collar here and they here on the end pin, you can fix that by simply putting a little bit of super glue in there to affix it. Same is true of the end pin tip if you don't want to, oh, pause. So same is true of the end pin tip if you don't plan on removing the rubber covering. And then with the collar, if you end up with issues around here that need to be fixed and are causing buzzing with your instrument, 
The safest thing to do is probably to take it into a shop to have it looked at. So there you have it, folks. Those are the unique things to cellos and basses that can buzz. I hope you enjoyed the content. Please remember to like our channel, subscribe, hit that notification button, and leave a comment down below to tell us what things do you find that buzz on cellos and basses. We'll see you next time on The Workshop. The one thing I think is really weird about those spell casting classes is the fact that like, once you have a damage spell, you kind of don't need another one. <laughs>